builders and the butchers bringing home the rain guitar tabs and guitar lesson okay so we're just doing a standard tuning here e a d g b e and uh, a lot of just basic chords nothing crazy so this intro slash chorus um this also happens at the very end of the song but it just kind of slows down so the dynamics just a little a little different but uh we start just kind of a basic a chord and uh, if you want, you could just do like the, just to the G string, but I like to throw in the, the B with it. So we got the open A, two on the D, G, and B. And as far as the strumming, it's just kind of this loose alternate shuffle strum. Something like that, all right? It doesn't have to be super exact or, you know, whatever. It's just kind of a loose shuffling feel. couple of measures of the A. Then we do this uh, little riff with the A where we go a couple strums on it. On the E string we go three, four, back to the A chord. Then we go three on the A, back to the A chord. Okay, so we went. All right, and from there we do this little C chord walk down. Uh, you know, just basic C chord, 3A, 2 on the D, open G, 1B. Uh, and then we do that bass note walk down where we have the 3A to a 2. And you can just kind of throw in the open D under it. it just becomes like a, a, you know, special C chord with a B on top. Do a couple strums each there. Just right on beat, that's fine. To a G chord. So 3E, 2A, open D, G, B. Okay, strum that for the measure. Back to the A, and we just stay on that A for a couple measures, and then from there we, we just start from the beginning. And once we get to the verse, it's just kind of just straight chord strumming here. Um, start with the A. A couple measures each for these to a G. C. Back to the A. All right, and we go through those progressions a handful of times for the verse. And uh, we get into the chorus, which was the initial progression we did at the intro there. And after the chorus, we get to this kind of little turnaround section where it, it gets a little a little hard to hear, a little faint, but uh, best I can figure here, we start with uh, this D, and this is more like a D5, so we just go like the open D, 2G, 3 on the B. And then here is where it gets a little hard to hear. Uh, I feel like I'm hearing it go to a G, all right? So, uh, but there's still a lot of this, the same notes involved from that D. So I kind of just like to like, you know, keep that three on the B, then we can throw in the open D and G and then do the, the three E, two A there. All right, because I feel like I hear like, it, it either stays at the D or we can mix in that G, which I, you know, I'm about, 50% sure that I'm hearing that because at the very end of the song we get this section a little more drawn out and sparse and it definitely goes to the G at that section um, it just doesn't feel quite as uh, you know obvious here at this point so we could just uh, roll with it we go with the D okay open D 2 G 3 B there for measure go to that uh, G Maybe keep that three on the B with it. Just get the, keep that D note going. And then we just ultimately go to an A for a couple measures. All right, and it, all those three uh, sections just kind of repeat for the most part. And then we get to this one section where everything kind of chills out a little bit and uh, more of just like a little interlude into the next verse. And it's just right at that, that A five chords, so open A, two D, two G, but it's just kind of picking through it now. You, and you can just, you can be real loose and, you know, improv with this if you want. 
just kind of do the open A, 2D, 2G, back to the 2 on the D. But we're just kind of like arpeggiating through that A5 like that. You know, you can get a couple notes closer together if you want. Just playing around with that and that carries on for maybe you know a handful of measures and then it just basically gets back into the verse uh, progression and other than that there's the end of what I think is like the third verse where we just kind of get these dynamic hits of chords like we would keep it the same from the A to the G and then we get to the C and it's more like it hits it cuts it hits it rests again And then we get to the A chords, and with the A's, we kind of do these flourishes with it a few times. And then we just hit it and cut it there. And at that point, that's where we do the initial intro chorus progression, but it's just kind of drawn out and a lot slower. Mm -hmm. 